You are watching Getting Tabled. Hello, future people, and welcome to the Hobby Bench. Uh, as you know, there is the Drop Fleet, Drop Zone, Commander painting competition. And so, yeah, you create a fleet list and you paint it. As you can see, I've got my fleet here. Now, oh, this guy's kind of hiding. There we go. Um, it's a crap list, but. I'm doing it just so I can paint the Dreadnought here. I mean, let's be honest. It's a Dreadnought. It's big. It's awesome. Uh, we're going to be using, at some point, these guys, the Vallejo Shifters. Uh, they're they're color-shifting paint. Stuck, stuck at Green Stuff World. Um, don't know which one I'm going to do yet. I got the... Which one did I get? I can't remember. It was like the Sky or the Galaxy. Um, got the thing somewhere um i got the it's a six color set uh as i talked about in one of the episodes uh for the podcast it does have a mixing ball in it they all do so that is really cool uh so we're gonna get going on this uh we're gonna speed this up I'm not gonna make you watch it at a uh, normal speed because well that'd probably be a little boring for you guys uh, sit back and, and enjoy So that's the uh, base coat of gray. <coughs> Excuse me. Next step. So for you, for those of you who haven't worked with color shift paint, they always recommend to do a a black uh, undercoat that is glossy. And I inadvertently discovered that if you do a different uh, undercoat, whether it be gray or white, it kind of inverses the color shift uh, properties of the paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a white, a gray, and a black undercoat gloss that, and then do the color shift over that. And then hopefully what I, I hope to achieve then is a a, a multicolored shifting effect without shifting. So like the the front, middle, and back will be three different colors but then as it shifts, the, the colors will change to what the other colors are. I'm, I'm probably doing a terrible job ex of explaining this, but it makes sense to me. So I'm going to keep trucking along on this, at least on the uh, Dreadnought, and probably some other uh, point do the, uh, the three uh, cruisers, because I really don't have room for all of them to dry nicely. My, my plan for the Dreadnought, well didn't work out so nicely so I'll just keep trogging along here and there may be some uh, footage of me just sitting here uh, holding this for a while so we will either cut that or skip it ahead So, kind of give you an idea of what I'm going for now. I'm trying to do. That's why I hit it. Hit it with the last little bit at the end, just to make sure it's good and solid black. But we're gonna just on the the fronts of the. Just hit it with white going back, and the same on those Corvettes, and we'll do the same thing on the cruisers when I get to those and get them mounted up to where I can paint them and stuff. Um, but that's what we're going to do is, you know, we're going to try to get a, go from a, a, a white to a black transition fade over the, uh, the, over the ship and then gloss it all up and then hit it with a, uh, 
color shifting paint, and then that should give us a really cool, really neat, I think, effect uh, as far as, you know, what it's going to look like. Uh, that, I mean, the color shifts are cool, but I think that I think this will take it up just a, a little bit further as far as making it look cool. And um, that's what we're going for when we paint the stuff is when we want it to look good. You know, we, yeah. So we're gonna give this a couple minutes and let the paint dry, and then hit it with the white, and we'll see what it looks like. All right, I'm going to take a step away from the bench for a little bit, go run some water through this, and uh, get all the paint cleaned out as I prefer to do the, uh, the gloss base. So I'm going to run some water through here, then I'm going to mix up the medium gloss with Flow Improver. It, it, it just it needs to be a gloss coat. It doesn't need to be super heavy. Um, the last time the last time I did a color shift, I did it with uh, black paint that was glossy. So I mixed the gloss in with the paint instead of applying it directly on afterwards. So when I did that, I just put in the, the gloss straight on with the paint. So I was setting it out, you know. So I'm just going to try to do the same thing so I don't get a super heavy coat. And see what it looks like. So we're going to call that for this episode. Uh, it looks like it's turning out the way I want it to. And we'll see what it's like after I get the color shift paint on. Uh, I have three cruisers left to do. So see a video of those getting done, maybe. Um, you'll definitely see the color shift paint going on. And till next time, play more games.